Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Massy Chess Game from the Chess History by Jose Rol Capablanca. And in this chess game his opponent is David Janowski and this chess game was played in New York in 1918. And let's see what happened. Well, this is also a massive chess game by Jose Rol Capablanca. So Capablanca starts the game with pushing the d-pawn, d5, knight to f3, knight out, pawn up, and we have queen's gambit declined. Bishop out, knight out, pawn up, pawn up, knight out, bishop to e7, and bishop to d3, capturing the pawn, and knight takes on c4. Both players castled c5, and we have rook to c1. Pawn up, queen up, bishop out, rook from f to d1, and knight to d5. Hoping to trade the bishops, but now Capablanca played knight in to d6. If capturing the knight with the bishop, then bishop takes queen. And this is also attacking the bishop on b7. So we have bishop to c6, but if I have to illustrate that, if bishop takes on g5, then knight takes on b7. Well, as you can see, this is not losing for white. If something like queen to c7, in between move, white can take the pawn and then capture the bishop. So, in this position, we have bishop to c6 and knight goes back. f5, bishop takes on e7, queen takes on e7 and defending the knight. e5. Exchanging the pawns, exchanging the knights, and Capablanca played attacking the queen, queen back, and another beautiful tactical shot by Capablanca, he played knight to d4. Capturing the knight, but then rook takes on c6. This opened the file and Capablanca captured. Maybe bishop to c4 is on the cards. So knight to b4, check, king to h8, defending the rook with attacking the queen. We have d6, but Capablanca simply captured the pawn, so the queen is under attack, defending, defending the rook, pushing the pawn, bishop takes on b5, deflecting the bishop, knight takes on a2. And Janowski is a pawn down, bishop back, defending the knight. What would you do in this position? Guess the next move of Jose Rol Capablanca. He played a very strong move, and after that move, defending is not very easy. So if I give you 3 seconds, can you guess the next move of Jose Rol Capablanca? What would you do in this position? If you had the white pieces. So your time is starting from now. Well, Capablanca played queen to h5. Lining the queen with the king and actually defending is very difficult. In this position, Janowski pushed the pawn. But what is wrong with this move? Well, Capablanca simply captured the pawn who rook takes on g6 because the h pawn is pinned. So let's take it back. In this position, if tempting, let's say a random move. This is not a tempting move, of course. Let's play a random move, rook to h4 and threatening checkmate. And this move is a tempting move, h6 defending, but then rook takes on h6. The only move, queen takes on h6, checkmate. There is no defense for black. So as you can see, after this move, queen to h5, defending is very difficult. So pushing the pawn, but Capablanca captured the pawn. Hoping to exchange the rooks, but Capablanca played the move and David Janowski resigned. Again, what would you do if I give you 3 seconds, starting from now? Capablanca played rook to g7 and David Janowski resigned. Threatening checkmate on h7 and there is no defense. But what happens if capturing the rook? So this is the possible continuation and only defense for not getting checkmated. 
but this is losing immediately, checking the king, king to h8, and then bank. Rook takes on d8. And this is all over for black. So knight to d5, but now, rook to d7, threatening checkmate on g7, defending with the rook, but queen back, and how to defend? Rook to g7, rook takes on d5. And this is all over for black. Actually, this was the most accurate defense against white's attack, and black end up being a piece down and two pawns down. White is winning easily. So thank you very much for watching. This was the fantastic chess game by Jose Rol Capablanca. So in this position, after Rook to G7, David Janowski resigned. So thanks again. Stay safe and take care. Bye bye.